and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight I am going to be discussing the houses that October built. Now this is a, it's a simple story. It's about a group of people who all hop in an RV with the uh, mission in mind to drive around the country, the United States, looking for the scariest haunted house during Halloween. And they were going to make a documentary about their findings. And I think my favorite thing about this movie overall is just how authentic it feels. Like this has the found footage sort of record it yourself horror movie thing down completely. I believe the characters, the characters, of course, I wrote them down, so I might as well say them. Bobby, Zach, Brandy, Mikey, and Jeff. Um, I believe that these people are actually in peril. So anyway, so as they're traveling um, from increasingly scarier and scarier haunted house to increasingly scarier and scarier haunted house, they begin to hear about a place called the Blue Skeleton. And you got to find this place. That's the ultimate. And people are like, oh my God, dude, you can't fuck with the Blue Skeleton. And it's almost like once they even like low key show interest in the Blue Skeleton, it's like pulling them in because the Blue Skeleton is, of course, it's nothing supernatural. It's a group of... Uh, fairly well-connected local people, I'm guessing, because what they managed to pull off with the five, I mean, abducting and, and, and doing what they did to the five of them, five people, that is an undertaking, you know? And to not get caught and to have everything as planned out as well as they did. I mean, that little chick with the, or maybe it was a girl, I don't know, the, the, the person in the girl suit with the with his shaved head or the pulled out hair and the plastic mask, that was genuinely scary. Like, I, I mean, I don't think anybody would question that. That part was fucking actually scary. Like, I don't know what I would do. And then they find themselves at the end, like, hellbent is happening to them. They've been abducted and they're in this fucking house. And it's it's so well done. And, I mean, it's over for these people. And they're they're put into coffins and they're just sort of left there. And it's so claustrophobic and it's so scary and it's so real. And it's just, it's got that, like... It sort of has the same vibe the Blair Witch had, or any well-made um, found footage horror movie, assuming you dig the whole found footage thing. If you're into the found footage thing, this movie's amazing. If you're not, you're going to think it's as stupid as the rest of them. But I totally love the found footage thing, so I buy into this every time. And where the hell-bent people took them and what they did to them was just so smart, and it was so well put together, and it was just so off-putting that I believed every second of this. And, of course, they don't die at the end. And that's a an interesting twist because I mean, I just assumed like I'm sure everyone else that was watching or seeing this movie that they were as good as dead, even though they weren't. And I loved that about this. And then they had to go and make the houses that October built too. Oh, Jesus Christ. But that is another video for another day. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So like always, thank you so much for hanging out with me for about four and a half minutes. Well, I discussed the 2015 film, uh, the houses that October built. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, don't forget that you kick ass. And I'll talk to you guys soon, as in like tomorrow or whenever. What if it's getting awkward again? Have a good night.